Professor Mark Rabowski, and this video lecture will cover advertising law and ethics. Let's begin with some history. Initially, America had no laws regulating advertising. In the 1800s, the government instead had a buyer beware mentality and let consumers decide for themselves whether a merchant's magical potion really could perform miracles. It wasn't until 1911 that the government began regulating advertisements and fining violators. The Federal Trade Commission is mostly responsible for regulating advertisements in America. However, other federal agencies, along with state governments and local governments, also play a role. Sometimes advertisers challenge government regulations in court and get laws overturned. The Supreme Court ruled in a 1970 landmark case, Virginia State Board of Pharmacy v. Virginia Citizens Consumer Council, that commercial advertising deserves some First Amendment protection because ads can provide valuable information to consumers, such as which store is at cheapest prices. However, there are a couple important caveats. First, note that the court ruled that commercial speech enjoys only some protection, which means it can be regulated. Second, political advertisements are given a much greater amount of freedom than other types of ads because they're considered to be a form of political speech, which the Supreme Court has ruled deserves strong protection. So what type of advertisements, in general, are legal? For starters, false ads are illegal. False ads include ads that make claims that are not true, and ads that feature fictional endorsements or fake test results. Misleading ads are also illegal. Misleading ads are different than false ads. They're ads that leave out important information or are otherwise misleading. Whether an ad is deemed to be misleading hinges on whether a reasonable consumer would find the ad to be misleading. So, for example, you couldn't sue McDonald's for misleading advertising when they advertise that they sell french fries. No reasonable consumer would argue, hmm, but french fries aren't from France. In addition to false and misleading ads, ads that promote discrimination or other illegal activities are also illegal. Media outlets can be punished for accepting ads associated with illegal products, illegal services, or illegal activities, including those implying discrimination in housing or employment. Finally, harassing forms of electronic advertisements, such as telemarketing and email spam, are also restricted. Advertisers who utilize such methods must provide the people they target with the option to opt out of receiving future ads, or else they'll face fines. Now, while all of these aforementioned practices are illegal, they sometimes go unpunished. That's because the FTC is extremely overworked and understaffed, so they have to focus on the biggest, most serious offenses. Now let's cover controversial advertising practices that are actually legal. Advertisements aimed at children are not illegal per se, but they are subject to much more regulation than ads aimed at adults. In addition, controversial ads are okay. As long as the product or service being advertised is legal, it's allowed. However, the government may impose time, place, and manner restrictions on such advertisements. That's why, for example, television advertisements for phone sex services usually are limited to late night, after the children have likely gone to sleep. Media outlets have a right to reject advertisements that they don't like due to First Amendment protections against compelled speech. Given all the media opportunities available in America, along with the fact that anyone can create their own website, advertisers have alternative means to advertise if, they, if they're rejected by a media outlet. Finally, the media is not legally responsible for libelous or distasteful content in political advertisements. Courts have ruled that advertisers would be unreasonably burdened if they had to verify facts of every political ad during election season. Now, as you can see on the screen, some advertisers have run offensive ads for products and services that use tactics such as manipulation, sexism, gender ob objectification, racial stereotyping, and other tasteless tactics. Of course, just because the media can legally run controversial advertisements doesn't mean that they should. This is where advertising ethics comes in. Advertisers shouldn't just try to make money by serving the interests of clients who pay for the work, but they should also have an ethical duty to respect and uphold the rights and interests of their audiences and to serve the common good. 
ultimately in a nation like the United States, where freedom of speech exists, it is largely up to advertisers themselves to ensure ethically responsible practices in their profession.